I was asleep and then I woke up and I could tell that the drugs had made me, like, made me feel nauseous. I wasn't feeling nauseous, but when I woke up, I was like, I'm gonna puke. So, I puked all my guts out. You could always try mushy peas. Good morning, guys. We just got in the car on our way to the hospital. Checked out the hotel. And we got in the car and we said, that was a really fun day. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Um, and now we are, so the plan right now is that I'm gonna start IV antibiotics. Um, I'll hold this. And then we'll just kind of talk about I've got a few treatment options, you know, like because of my lungs growing different um, kind of resistant bacterias, we can try different um, antibiotics and that sort of thing to see if anything will help. So we're going to try these two for now and then potentially, like if that doesn't make any difference, we can try something else and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we're going to start these for now. See what happens. So we're on our way to the hospital. I'm gonna access my port. And if you don't know what a port is or accessing or whatever, we made a video it's like a long of, time one ago. One of the first videos we made. Yeah, of how to access my port. So it's pretty funny actually. You wanna link that below? Yeah, I'll put it down in the description box. Yeah. Um and here's what the city looks like today. It's a little bit rainy. But it is Edinburgh. And last night it was funny because it was so hot in our room, in our hotel room. So, ooh, ooh, sorry about that. So we opened the window and it was so loud. Like in the middle of the night. And it was so fun because we were like, oh, I feel like we're like in Spain or something, like in Barcelona. And it's very loud out there and it feels really hot and tropical in here. And we are quite sure why we think Spain is loud at night. Well, I do think that because my Spanish teacher told me that, I think she said that like in Spain they just party all night. Uh -huh. They work during the day and party all night. Cool. I don't know. Well, it if, was fun. If you live in Spain, let us know if it's loud. <laughs> it reminded me of when I lived in Chicago. I had a street front room where like I heard city noises all night long. And remember when I would come home from college, it would seem so eerily silent. Oh, I remember on like when I was home for a week for Thanksgiving or whatever, I would have to wear headphones at night when I was falling asleep because it was too quiet. Like I'd have to like put yeah. music on. Whoa, this guy just like came out of nowhere. We should probably honk just so he knows we're here. Honk honk. Watch out for that guy. So if you guys have seen The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan, and you know that scene when she's pulling in to London for the first time, and it's like, there she goes, that song. This little street reminds me so much of that area. Um, and I think whenever we pull through this little like, I mean, just like, you know, little perfect fences and just British cuteness. I that song is playing through my head, and I feel like I'm, I'm basically, I feel like I'm in that movie right now. It's very cool. And then there's that building. That's cool. This is where the Dean's Village is, right down there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There she goes. There she goes again. Take it away, baby. There she goes. There she goes again.
<laughs> hey guys, we are home from the hospital. Mary did her first dose, um, and she. Is I guess we need accessed. to make a song. Yeah. I got, got a, a needle, needle in, in my chest. chest. <laughs> in my chest. <laughs> Actually, they. Um, oh, I forgot to take a picture of the needle package. I have oh. a subscriber who has a port, and she was like, "Your needle looks awesome." Cause look, it's like clear. And it's really like flat. I agree, it is awesome. And I forgot to take a picture of the package, but I will, I will do it. <coughs> yeah, so that all went well. I, I actually, I accessed her port there at the hospital while the nurse did her, mixed her drugs. So that was nice, cause sometimes it's just easier if I do it, cause I know Mary and. And I'm really, I've had this port since like 2005 um, and it's lasted so long and I think part of that is because I was taught to be neurotic about keeping things sterile so I am completely neurotic about it. So it's hard for me to trust other people doing my port besides Peter because I have watched other people do my port and they don't stay sterile. So. The nurse that we had, she would have stayed sterile. I trust her, but anyway, so Peter did my port. She did the drugs. Bada bing, bada boom, we're home, and we are doing this. So we have the fire cranked up because the we had the heat turned off while we were gone last night for our anniversary. And so on our way home, we stopped at this little store called Cheesemonger and we got a slice of raclette cheese and we got this baguette that we sliced up in pieces. Super crusty. And we have the raclette heating up here in front of the fire and it looks just about ready. And when we were at the Christmas market they had a couple people from France who brought raclette and French hot dogs and stuff. Yeah. And they had this like little melty thing. Yeah, we showed they... it in the vlog, yeah. remember? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Pardon. 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 Um, so anyway. So we're going to eat this little snack and enjoy being home. And I'm going to get some writing done this evening. And we'll probably have a quiet evening. Yay. Hey guys, it's now like 5.30 and uh, Mary is not feeling great. Her fever went up to around 100 and um, she's sleeping now, but um, she's feeling the effects of the IVs. Her tongue, tongue is feeling numb and just feeling weird. And so we're just gonna take it easy, keep an eye on her all night and um, see how she's feeling in a little while. It's the end of the night. It's been a little bit of a rough night. Day. Day. So, I had my first dose of IVs at 1.30 this afternoon, and I was feeling fine. I even went to a charity shop after that, which was fun, because I do love those charity shops. <laughs> and then we got home, and I was kind of sitting by the fire, so this was like 3.30 or, or whatever. Yeah, well you saw some video when we were eating cheese and bread and... Yeah, like I was feeling fine. And then I started feeling a little bit like maybe a fever was coming. And she kind of curled up and set up camp on the couch. And it just went downhill from there. Her fever spiked up to... Almost. Almost 103. And she was, she was pretty out of it, like. I still am, kind of. Yeah. But. Your tongue was hurting. My tongue felt weird. Like, typically with these antibiotics, like, my tongue will get tingly and numb. But this was more, like, sore. And it almost felt like it was a little bit swollen, but I don't know. So, my tongue felt weird. I wasn't breathing well and then I was asleep and then I woke up 
and I could tell that the drugs had made me, like, made me feel nauseous. I wasn't feeling nauseous, but when I woke up, I was like, I'm gonna puke. So I puked all my guts out. Yeah. And then from just like, just all of that, I was just not breathing well. Um, it was really scary, actually. Like, I've never thought, I never thought there would be like a reason for me to go in an ambulance because I don't usually have any very emergent issues. But I was like sitting there half out of it because I had taken Benadryl because I, because I was having this reaction to these drugs. So I was like out of it, but I was thinking, I'm really feeling not, like I can't breathe very well. Yeah. And I didn't know if it was gonna get worse or what. So I like started thinking, I wonder if this is when you start thinking about calling an ambulance. I don't know. Thankfully, the fever broke and Mary started feeling a little better. Yeah. Um, but we decided because of all this, we didn't do tonight's dose and we're going to reassess tomorrow yeah. what we should do. So, so that happened. Yeah. We should go to bed. Yeah. So as always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.